Hello, I am Jani from Infinite Polygon Studio. First of all, sorry for my English, but let's not waste your time, let's get started. Before you buy this environment, I strongly recommend you to watch this video carefully, because it may lead you to not want to buy this asset. The most concerning part is the lighting system. The materials in this asset pack do not work with the Arial Engine's built-in lighting system. Only the custom global lighting and point lights included in this pack work. There are limitations of this lighting system. First, it can handle only 8 light sources in the same time, but you can use as many light sources as you want. The script included in this pack automatically activate and deactivate the lighting depending on the distance. In the editor mode, only one lighting work. Another uh, fly is mm, this uh, light source uh, can't uh, cast shadow, so when you light a corridor, it will bleed out to the classroom, so place the light sources carefully. Now let's talk about the global lighting. With this blueprint, you can set the sky strength the sky color the sun strength this sun strength in the shadowy areas sky color and sun direction with this node you can also apply a distance based uh, shadow of to your scene uh, you can set the strength of this uh, effect by the shadow of transparency value. If it's one, it, it's completely disabled. So set it to zero. This is not the best because uh, fog uh, also allowed on the scene. So. This is how it uh, looks uh, without fog. You can mix these uh, two settings. This is how it looks uh, without fog. And uh, this is with very strong fog. There is also an option to uh, apply snow on your scene quickly. And that's it. Now let's talk about the interior lighting. The main difference between interior and exterior objects are the base material. For example, these uh, bamboo fans are using uh, retro shader base uh, as parent material. In contrast, an interior object like this desk are using 
building int as parent uh, material. Objects like uh, walls that has uh, exterior and interior parts have uh, different material for the exterior and interior parts. Now let's uh, open this uh, building int. If you can see, there are a bunch of values that named override, shadow override, uh, fog override. Um, by setting these values to zero, you can achieve different lighting condition that uh, the one set in the global lighting blueprint. For example, select the Retro lighting global setting, set the snow strength to 3, the exterior is under snow, but the interior is safe. Because in the snow and moss settings, the global snow override is set to 1. If we set to 0, the interior uh, is covered with snow. Set it back to 1. And uh, let's see the other values. Reducing the shadow distance, we can achieve stronger shadow. We can also uh, override the fog values. Uh, 